to check out videos and today I'm going to be showing you a tour of my like slime where I do slime stuff and um, here it is and so I'm just going to give you a tour of like what I do and then just like how it looks like so let's get on to the video so the first thing is on the floor is just a place like a giant placement just so slime doesn't, like, if I'm making it or something, or playing with it, it doesn't fall on the floor. Which is, that wouldn't be so good because we've had it fall on carpet and that is not so fun. So, then we have a bit my old dresser and I just used all the drawers and I, like, decor decorated them. And so the first one is Acto, short for activator, which makes, like, the glue and stuff slime. And then this one is Addend. And um, that's just some fun things to put in slime. And then paint is what I use to color it or like dye. And then in this giant drawer, it's glue and glue for short <laughs> for glue. And um, then up here, I just have a bunch of um, stuff to decorate it. And then here, I just have some paper. Okay, so on to the first drawer, which is Acto Activator. We have some random papers in here if I want to switch that out. Um, we have saline solution. We have another mini saline solution. I have to lay them down because they won't fit. We have just the slime activator, which is just a mix of a bunch of different activators. And some baking soda for the saline solution. That's all of my activators. At least that I have right now. I need to get some more. Um, Add-ins down here. All this stuff. I have some model magic clay. I have some shaving cream, some hairspray, which you probably are confused what that's for. Um, you have, I have some like some glitter things and stuff like that. My glitter is on um, some beads, lotion to make it nice and soft and stretchy, and some aloe, which gives it a really cool texture. <laughs> and then down here is our last drawer. Right here we have some paints, which is all these paints. We have acrylic paints, acrylic paints, watercolors, and then some food dyes down here. Which these are just like little tubes of watercolors, and then these are just a bunch of metallic, normal acrylic paints, and then we have them here. There you go. Shut. <laughs> And up here, like I said, we just have some paper just to protect the coating. Up oh, here. <laughs> I mean, it's already dirty, but whatever. And the glue on. Ignore that stuff. That's my mom's stuff. Um, okay, so here we have just a box to part it. And here, some, like, paper down here. We have some white glue, like a mini one, and then a gallon, which isn't. It's almost gone. <laughs> and then down here we have clear transparent glue. And here we also have more clear glue, which is down the spot, too. And then up here is just a nice little spot. And this is a little pineapple container. This is a picture that says slime time. These are some bowls. So what's in the pineapple is some spoons. Just a bunch of different spoons to um, make the slime with. Secret. And this pineapple, pineapple glass. Shut a little bit. I did before this video. Now it's just being stubborn. There we go. It looks fine. <laughs> and then we have some bowls here. Um, different sizes. Like if I need to mix for clear slime, baking soda, and the sand solution, a bigger bowl, and a bigger bowl, and a bigger bowl. That's four bowls that I can use. And then here the picture that says slime time. It's really cool. I like all the colors and stuff. And then I am using a book just to stand it up so it doesn't fall down. And then over here I said the that. And then over here I have a trash can. Just like if I make slime and um, there's stuff I need to throw away, I can put it in there. And then... I have a cardboard box here to put some of the slimes that I make down here if I run out of my room where I put most of my slimes. So this is my 
slime like little place. And if you guys have a room that you aren't using or something or that you are using and there's something in there, you can use it. It's really simple and easy. I just use it just a desk, like a normal like desk or um like just dresser and I use some cool washi tape. If you use tape, make sure it's like removable without taking the paint off. And then I just used a bunch of cool tape to create, like make it look vibrant. And then I used some paper and that's, it's you can make it so easy. And um, yeah, trash can, cardboard box. And thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And like I said, you can make your own. If you do make your own, comment down below and send me some pictures. I would love to see them. Thanks for watching. Bye!